All right, Konami has done us a great service. In this festival, they have banned Maxi, Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom, all of the cards that you hate. Stick around for the gameplay because we got some secret extra spicy includes in here and you're gonna wanna see it in action before you spoil it. So let's get going. Welcome to another video and today we are playing in the new festival. The Legacy Festival, and it is quite fun. We got an interesting hand here. You got to see some of the spice here. We got Mermails. We got Mermail Search in the spell. spell. We got Made in the Aqua. And we got some Legendary Ocean. So you can see we got Umi Control going on. Let's summon the Maiden and the Abyss Megalo so we can special summon that discarded Citadel Whale, which are between two water monsters. And you stick around at the end of this video, you're gonna see some amazing gameplay that you'll only see in the Legacy Festival. Let's summon that Legendary Ocean, activate the Legendary Ocean, set the Sea Self Attack that we search for with a Citadel Whale. And we don't have the Water Lock, but we do have Whale Lock. Opponent, what are you doing? You are playing Dark Magicians. No, this is Piercing the Darkness. This doesn't seem like a Dark Magician card at all. Let's attack with the Citadel Whale. Interesting, very suspicious. I am suspicious. There we go, I knew it. Dark Magician. There's only one way I could have known. Opponent, adding a Dark Magician to hand. Normal summoning the rod. Activating the, adding the Dark Magical Circle. Are we, are we in trouble here? Our whale, you know, he can only protect himself from being targeted by monster effects. Opponent is doing a lot right now. Chaos forming, making an illusion of chaos. Going to battle and not reading. All right, opponent not reading. Oh, opponent, please read. Okay, opponent not reading. Okay, they read. They didn't read twice. They they at least did not read a third time. Uh, the, the sea stealth attack getting them, but we don't draw anything good here. We gotta hold out with the whale for another turn. How long will opponent not read for? We we don't know. We can only be so unsure. All right. If they do summon a dark magician, they are gonna banish our stuff. Opponent passing. All right. Well. Let's get going. Heavy infantry, and you're gonna like this play here. Heavy infantry, summon dragoons. Link two. The Marin says Coral Anemone, activate effect. Special summon the heavy infantry, and then tribute both monsters with the whale. Getting him back on the field and getting both triggers. Let's pop that stupid, silly spell, Dark Magical Circle, before it banishes any of our monsters. And let's search with the dragoons, getting the Ocean Dragon Lord. We already normal summon, so we gotta save the Dragon Lord for next turn. We got the Imperm to negate. We got the Abyss Scale, which we cannot activate yet. Opponent, Magic Karibo Wing. Alright. Chadmo, Dark Magician. Oh, admit, they paid. They paid the money for the Dark Magician. Alright. 30,000 gems, where's your nice field, opponent? Opponent's turn, what are you gonna do to get out of this? Oh my goodness, they gave us the Lava Golem. They gave us the Lava Golem and they're activating Dark Magic Attack! They destroyed our entire field! Oh my goodness, is Dark Magician going to destroy us right now? Did we just get bodied by Dark Magician? Opponent summoning Dark Magicians. Did Konami just ban cards until Dark Magician was good? Alright, they are attacking with Dark Magicians. And we have literally nothing. They popped our field spell. All we have in hand is a garbage equip spell we can't use. An Ocean Dragon Lord. Alright. We got a YOLO, we got a belief, we got a heart of the cards. Let me know in the comments if you believe. Let's go. Let's draw. Draw into Lapis Dragon, I'll accept. Lapis Dragon summons itself because we drew it. Let's normal summon Ocean Dragon Lord, tributing. And let's activate his effect. Search for the Sea Stealth 2. We only have one Sea Stealth attack because it is limited to one. Opponent gets to draw a card. They're waterlocked. But now we get to summon a monster every turn with our Umi. And opponent, why are you turtling? Opponent! Did they didn't read I don't know what's going on, they didn't read. They could have just attacked. Why opponent, why didn't you read? I don't know. Opponent, what are you doing? Alright, well, opponent's made a mistake and they're giving us a chance. Let's activate Ocean Dragon Lord's effect. Get another legendary ocean. Let another Umi. We drew into the Kyrushin's Dark Reef. This is the perfect draw. Let's set. And let's pass to the opponent. Opponent going to battle. Ending the turn. All right, it's our time. Activate, send that Umi to the graveyard. Special summon the whale. Special summon legendary fisherman. Opponent is activating to draw. Setting a card. 
passing back to us. All right. We're going to activate Ocean Dragon Lord. We're going to add the Legendary Ocean. We are going to activate our Fortress Whale to attack directly. Opponent is at 700 life points. Let's pop that Dark Magicians. Dark Magicians is popped. It's going to summon two Magicians to the field. Activating. There we go. Did we finally get this? Opponent has three back row. Opponent, what are you doing? Magic Karibo going back to hand. That means if we attack directly, they're going to summon a Dark Magician. Opponent summoning. Dark Magician. Summoning. Dark Magician girl. Forced to sack. Leaving the Dark Magician girl. They can't summon any more monsters. Let's activate our Whale Effect. Once we get priority. Whale Effect activate. We can attack directly. Switch to battle phase, battle mode. Resummon. Made in the Aqua. Attack directly with Fisherman. Opponent. Soul Servanting. And conceding Fisherman Lethal. Alright. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, wait a minute. You're playing Fisherman in this deck, but you didn't win with Fisherman 3. This is unacceptable. Alright, you know what? Let's try again. Now, they may have banned Umi Control very heavily, limiting all our cards to one. But this deck is still good. The secret? Drawing Ocean Dragon Lord. Let's activate Legendary Ocean Draw. Or search to see self attack. Special Summon the Abyss Megalo. Get our search of the equip spell. This is going to negate the first spell that's activated on the opponent's turn. And you know what? It's a pretty good board. We got Mega Fortress Wheel in the graveyard for next turn. Activate Sea Stealth. Now let's see what the opponent's got. Opponent. Summoning Summoner Monk. Switching to defense mode. Activating a Forbidden Chalice. Gets negated by the Abyss Scale. And opponent is out of here. Got him. Ocean Dragon Lord. Still good. Let's go on to the next game. All right, I'm not sure if this deck is nonsense or brilliant. We got a lot of nonsense though. Abyss Teus, Penguin Soldier. Teus gonna special summon. Search for Abyss Dine. Abyss Dine is gonna special summon itself. We're gonna set our Penguin Soldier. We're gonna search for the Legendary Ocean. And we're gonna tribute two monsters to special summon. The Citadel Whale. Setting a Sea Cells attack to the field. And with Legendary Ocean on field, Kyrushin's Dark Reef, Sea Stealth Attack, we get everything we need. Let's activate, nice little combo here, send the Legendary Ocean to the graveyard to Special Summon 2, Umi monsters from our deck, and then when we activate Sea Stealth Attack, we get to reactivate that Legendary Ocean from the graveyard. We got Spell Negate with Jellyfish, we got Water Lock, Opponent, activating Magician Salvation, We're gonna try and set an Eternal Soul, I don't think so Dark Magicians. We've had enough of you right now. An opponent on their spell getting negated. They are out of here. Got him. Umi Control. This deck is so good. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right, they may have banned our beloved Deep Sea Diva, but Prince is still here. And Prince can combo. Don't don't feel that Prince is just nothing without Diva. Let's activate Dragoons. Or activate Prince, send Dragoons to the graveyard. Opponent going to imperm. Well, you know what? That's fine. Prince does not care about getting impermed. Dragoon's gonna search for the Abyss Megalo. Luckily, we have a second Dragoon's in hand. Would have searched for that if we didn't get Imperm. Megalo gonna summon, and now we're gonna get the beautiful one two punch. Search for the Equip spell, search for a Sea Serpent. Getting that Abyss skill to negate a spell effect, and getting that Lapis Dragon. Just gonna special summon itself and let us go into the ultimate combo. Special summon. Penguin Brave, special summon from our deck. A Penguin Soldier in face down defense position. And now let's activate Legendary Ocean, activate our Quip Spell, activate our Kyrushin's Dark Reese by setting it face down, which is not activating. And let's see what the opponent can do here. Opponent, summoning a Lone Fire Blossom, gonna tribute to get a Preta Plant. We got Preta Plants. Let's activate Penguin Brave, flip our Penguin Soldier face up in response. Opponent gonna summon the Preta Plant Darlington. Penguin gonna activate. Now we could send both their monsters back to hand, but I got a better plan. Let's send one back, send our Penguin back, and special summon two monsters from our deck. Let's get the beautiful Maid of the Aqua and Ocean Dragon Lord locking our opponent into waters with that Maid of the Aqua who's treated as Umi. Opponent searching for a Super Poly, but Abyss Scale negates Super Poly. An opponent can't summon any non-water monsters anyway, and they are out of here. Got him with the water lock. All right.
Very sweet. Let's go on to the next game. We are on the quest. The quest to Legendary Fisherman 3. In this themed event. Start with the Prince. You've seen this play before. We got the Prince combo. We're going to summon the Penguin. We're going to summon Arbus Megalo. We're going to be immune. We're going to be protected. Let's summon the Penguin here. Get our Penguin Soldier. Get our Bismegalo. Sending that Dragoons to the Graveyard means we get to search. Bismegalo also searching for the Equip Spell. Let's see if our opponent can get through it. Abyss Scale. Ocean Dragon Lord for next turn. And you know what? I'm feeling greedy today. Let's Special Summon Abyss Lacia. Now, if you leave the Penguin online, you can flip the Penguin face up when opponent activates a monster effect but I was you know I'm not sure what the best board is maybe maybe Abyss Lacia is better if they pop Abyss Lacia then we get a send from deck pop and we get a summon also they got attacked through the penguin soldier let's search for the legendary ocean here and uh, let's pass let's see how good this is uh, opponent activating a dark world shackles all right well, that's going to get negated, except it's an equip spell, which means it doesn't get negated. Thank you, Konami. An opponent is playing Sioux Ships. Are Sioux Ships still good? Did Sioux Ships not get hit? Opponent special summoning. Opponent. Konami, how did you fail to ban this? Utopia double going to OTK us through the Dark World Shackles, summoning a Utopia. We don't get to flip our Penguin Soldier. If I had just left the Penguin Brave alive... We would have been able to do it. You know, this is my fault. I didn't believe in the fisherman, and now I'm taking 9,000 damage to the face. Let's go on to the next game. All right. Can we do it? Can we find the legendary fisherman? You know, I'm believing. I hope you're believing too. Let's activate legendary ocean. Normal summon our ocean dragon lord. Get that sea stealth attack online. And we're going to want to have another monster just in case, so let's special summon... The Abyss Teus. Teus is going to search. Dragoons is going to search. We're going to get the Pike. And we're going to get the Prince for follow up plays on the next turn. Because in this festival, sometimes you get a second turn. Unheard of in modern Yu Gi Oh! Opponent activating Bingo Machine Go, revealing Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes. Alright, very cool opponent. We're up against. Settle Kaiba. Oh, and an ultimate fusing. What are they going to have an ultimate fuse here? A blue eyes tyrant dragon. And this is actually a big problem because this monster is unaffected by trap cards, which means we can't just hide behind our sea stealth attack and watch as our opponent doesn't read. Our opponent clearly is a reader. Or maybe they, they didn't read and they just are coincidentally protected. Let's, let's, doesn't worry. Don't worry about it. Sea stealth attack, save the ocean dragon lord. Take the one hit from the Tyrant Dragon. An opponent going for Egg Blaze. Adding the Egg to hand with the Sage. And not Synchro Summoning, they're going into a Link to Rebo. All right, well, they're gonna have to sacrifice that at the end of turn, thanks to the Ocean Dragon Lord, but opponents sacrificing their Blue-Eyes Tyrant Dragon. All right, big plays here. They got big plays coming up. Let's search for the Sea Stealth 2. Activate. Opponent, Solemn Judgment paying. 4,000 life points to negate. Alright, Blue Eyes. Really trusting in that Link, that Link Karibo here. Let's summon Prince. Activate. And opponent. Not gonna see it. Prince played too much. Alright, let's do one more game. Alright. I have upgraded the deck. It is now unbeatable. Or is it? We do have to draw. We do have to draw one card for this to work. And I think you all know what it is. Let's get going. Start by summoning the Abyss Megalo. This is not the card. We're gonna search with the Dragoons. Search, or activate Prince's effect to special summon Dragoons from the graveyard. Okay, uh, Megalo is gonna search. Get us that equip spell and opponent. Get us with the Imperm. No equip spell. All right, you know what? A-OK. -okay. Because Megalo, not the critical card. This is not the one card that will lead us to victory. Special summon. That Dragoon, search for the Ocean Dragonlord. You might be thinking, ah, Ocean Dragonlord, that's gotta be the card. No, not the card. Let's search for a Legendary Ocean. 
get normal summoning that Ocean Dragon Lord, get the Water Lock online. Now, opponent, you can only summon one non-water monster. Let's activate. Search for the Sea Stealth attack. Get sent. Get hit. Because our opponent went first and they did nothing. Opponent with the Magic Karibo. We got ourselves a Dark Magician chat here. We couldn't afford the 3,000 gems for the field spell. Let's get attacking with the Megalo. Opponent adding the Magic Karibo back to hand. Alright, we got ourselves a real duel. Thought I had the easy lethal, but opponent got us. Alright, Sea Stealth attack is online. Opponent sounding a Magician's Rod. Getting a Salvation. Is the Rod the Salvation here? Searching for the Eternal Soul. Alright. Eternal Soul not able to do anything while that non-water monster is on the field. Drawn into Lapis Dragon. A little cute. When he's drawn, you get to special summon him. Opponent choosing to activate the Eternal Soul. Probably thinks they can summon Dark Magician here. They cannot. They get to search for a Dark Magic attack though. Where is the one card we need it? We need this card to lead us to victory. Let's activate Ocean Dragon Lord. Search for the Sea Stealth 2. And you're going to start to be able to guess. Let's activate Megalo. Get our second attack online. Summon the War of Atlantis. Special summon the Fortress Whale. And this is where we mess up our sequencing horribly. Alright, we're going to attack. This is fine. But now we know opponent has the Magic Karibo. So why did I attack with this? That was a big mistake. But it's okay. Opponent going to special summon the Dark Magician. Now we can't attack with our Dragoons. And I'm realizing quickly, I'm reading here. I'm like, okay, I'll just attack with my Dragon Lord. Hit him, and, and you know, it'll pop him with the Sea Stealth attack, but I quickly stopped. I was like, wait a minute, Eternal Soul says something. Uh, every Dark Magician in your monster zone is unaffected by card effects. All right, quick, let's back off that attack. Sea Stealth, banish. Save our Ocean Dragon Lord from killing himself by the effect of not reading. Let's hit him with the Abyss Megalo. Megalo does get to attack a second time, but because of our poor sequence attacks, we did not get lethal. All right. That's okay, because now, Legendary Fisherman is online. Let's Special Summon Abyss Lacia and pass to the opponent. I think you know where this is going. We are one Fisherman away from the Legendary Fisherman 3. Can we do it? Can we pull it off against Ultra Chad Blue Eyes? Or sorry, Ultra Tad Dark Magician. Opponent, activating Soul Servant. Putting a card on top of their deck. It is the Illusion of Chaos. What are they going to do with Illusion of Chaos, though? Adding an Illusion Magician. Apprentice Illusion Magician. Special Summoning with the Eternal Soul. And now when they summon with Eternal Soul, Dark Magical Circle is going to banish a card. I remember this from Duel Links. And they are correctly targeting the Sea Stealth attack. Let's save our key piece. Legendary Fisherman. Hope that we can survive. Opponent, with your one Dark Magician, what are you going to do? Go into battle. We get to resummon the Fortress Whale. Opponent making a big mistake, attacking the Abyss Lacia. When it's destroyed, effect activates. Send a water from your deck to the graveyard as cost. Special summon a water from your graveyard. Heavy, get pop in. Pop that Eternal Soul. You destroy our trap, opponent. We destroy your trap. And now at the end of the battle phase, Mega Fortress Whale gets destroyed. And that's right, it's Legendary Fisherman. Opponent, what are you going to do? Main phase, you are summoning the Apprentice Illusion. But now, it's Fisherman time. Fisherman, but oh, hold on. We gotta make sure nothing gets banished first. Let's activate Prince. Pop that magical circle. And now, it's Fisherman. Wait, hold on. We just gotta do one more thing first. We're gonna get the Raging Couch in. And now, it's Fisherman time. Let's get special summoning. Banish the opponent's entire field. Activate Fisherman's effect to unbanish the graveyard and deal double damage. And opponent is done. They are out of here. They are surrendering. And you know what? I think that's the way to end it. Let's go onto the deck list. All right, here is the ultimate water deck. We have everything you love. We have Fishermen. We have Umi Control. We have Atlanteans. I mean, this festival is hilarious. Because they limited all the good cards to one, we had to build a completely jank pile. Uh, but you know what? I'm having a lot of fun, so no regrets here. Uh, quickly, let's go through here. Where, where was I? Where was I? Oh yeah, we got three princes. We got Penguin Soldier because we got Penguin Combo. You saw it in the video. We got triple heavy infantry. We got Abyss Dine. We got one made in the Aqua to search with the Kairoshin's Dark Weave. We got triple War Atlantis to search our legendary ocean. We got triple Dragoons. We got Mermail Abyss Pike. We got a Doom Kraken. We got one Electric Jellyfish. One Legendary Fisherman. One Lapis Dragon. One Ocean Dragon Lord. Double Abyss Megalo. Double Abyss Teus. 
one legendary fisherman, three the one, the only, one citadel whale, one mega fortress whale, one fish sonar, one abyss scale, triple legendary ocean, two sea stealth twos, one rage of Kairu Shin, one imperm, that is the maximum we are allowed, one, one Kairu Shin's dark reef, one second Kairu Shin's dark reef, and a sea stealth attack, and in the extra deck we got dolphin, we got penguin brave, we got a prima donna, we got a white or a whale, we got ravenous croco dragon, number 47 nightmare shark, Bahamut Shark, Full Armor Black Ray Lancer, a Silent Honor Arc, number 37, an Abyss Gyos, a Mecha Phantom Beast, Dracosac, an Abyss Blacia, a Mirren Says Coral Nemone, and a Black Luster Soldier, Soldier Chaos. Alright, I hope you liked today's video. I hope you love seeing the fishermen in action once again, destroying festivals as, as usual. Alright. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to be, let me know, do you like this festival? Because if you do, I'll, I'll make more videos on it. All right. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.